what is the best fly fishing pack for you? One question we get a lot from people is what is the best fly fishing pack for you specifically? We're going to talk about several different scenarios, different things to consider when you're buying some fly fishing gear that will include packs, bags, sling packs, waist packs, all that genre of uh, fly fishing gear to help you get a better idea of what's going to work best for you given where you fish, how you fish, and what you like to throw in your bags. So there are three things that I use to help determine which bags or packs to use. So first we have capability. In other words, what can the pack or the bag do? Second, we have capacity. Is it something that holds a little thing or a bunch of big things? That's always gonna be a factor is how much stuff you wanna carry. And then third are the conditions. So are you gonna be fishing where it's super rainy? Are you gonna be fishing where it's really hot and you don't want a big backpack on your back? So there's a lot of things with the conditions that will also help determine what you buy. So first, if we look at the capability or the functions of the packs, we're gonna break them down more by their form and the function. So starting off kind of at the high end of both cost and capacity are gonna be backpacks. So backpacks, as you may have heard, go on your back and they're gonna strap over your shoulders and adjust just like a regular backpack. The main difference here is that they're gonna have maybe some more nooks and crannies for your fishing gear, terminal tackle, nippers, uh, hemostats, that sort of thing. But they're usually expandable enough that you can fit extra clothing, fly boxes, packs, other things that you might wanna carry, small cameras. This one from Fish Pond, for instance, is a fairly high capacity for a fishing backpack. Very high quality, has a net holster. This little flyweight vest pack from Sims is a killer pack, but it's lighter capacity and it's probably more of a day trip, uh, has a hydration feature in there, and it uses Sims uh, 511 Tactical, it's basically a Molly system. We'll talk more about that in a bit. But backpacks come in all shapes and sizes, but again, it's more of a high capacity, wear it on your back, you may take it off when you get there and just leave it while you fish, or you may fish with it the whole time. Backpacks. And next category is the Combo Chest Pack Backpack. Probably our most popular selling pack in the whole shop is the Umqua Overlook ZS2. And this is a smallish backpack paired with a chest pack. So this basically goes over your shoulders and that sits right in front of your chest and holds a lot of your fishing gear. In the back, it's got a little backpack. You can throw a rain jacket, some drinks, some sandwiches, uh, whatever you need to kind of store some extra gear as you go. Backpack, not as much capacity as the bigger ones we talked about, but it has more of a fishing orientation to it. Fish Pond has the cross current, which is another entry into that same kind of combo model. You've got some other smaller ones that are more of a smaller chest pack with not much of a backpack. Again, most of the vendors, Sims, Umpqua, Orvis, Fish Pond, Patagonia, they're gonna have similar types of chest pack, backpack combos out there. And there are some that are more true, uh, true just a chest pack. For instance, this little Canyon Creek chest pack from Fish Pond, it really doesn't have much of a backpack, it's just more, this helps offset the weight of the chest pack and so it's not right around your neck, helps to kind of spread that weight out a little bit. If you're not like a backpack, fill it up, be gone all day with a bunch of gear, these are a great kind of middle ground between a backpack and a chest pack only. So these by far are more popular nowadays. You don't see many people buying just a little chest pack. It's more of that kind of combo mode. Okay, the next capability or functional style bag is what we would call a sling bag. And sling bags are made to go over one shoulder and then they usually secure themselves with a strap around the waist or coming up to clip into that strap that goes across your chest. These are nice because they can easily flip out of the way, but when you need them again, you can slide them back around to the front and have easy access to all your gear. So this is kind of the, the hybrid chest pack slash backpack slash hip pack, kind of checks all those boxes. And one of those styles, a lot of people really like them. These two, this one from Umqua and this one from Patagonia, they're actually fairly high capacity, probably bumping up to the capacity of a smaller backpack. If you are going to be carrying heavier stuff, I'd probably go with more of the traditional backpack than a sling bag, but these are super, super convenient and they work really well. And the last tile pack we're going to talk about is 
the hip pack or the waist pack. And again, most of the, the manufacturers out there will have a waist pack. The idea for these is that they go around, shocker, your waist. The nice thing about these is that they will go completely. You put them on your waist, this goes over your butt, and you secure it in the front. The nice thing about these guys is they are out of mind, out of sight, out of the way. So you can be fishing unencumbered, nothing on your shoulders, nothing on your chest, nothing get away of your line. It's out of the way back behind you. Downside to these style packs, they don't have a big capacity. I tend to sometimes struggle finding the sweet spot of getting it too tight so it doesn't slip down uh, onto my hips or too tight that I can't bend over. Probably more of a fat guy problem with me, but anyway, they're, they're super convenient. Again, this is probably not gonna be your all day, every day sort of pack. It might be if you're, let's say, doing a float down a river on a boat and you want something that's that you can just get out of the boat and go fish with, this is a great thing. You just slap it on there. And a lot of guys will fish these in flats out in the ocean so that you can have something that's going to be in your way, but it's compact enough it's going to fit a few pieces of gear and fly boxes in there. Okay, another consideration is whether they will handle weather. We've got several options. Patagonia's new guide water lineup these are all waterproof bags. This could fall in the water and it's going to float there for a little bit or even become fully submerged. It's not going to do much to the gear inside. If you live in a place, a climate that has a lot of rain or snow, it's always a good consideration to think about. I've had too many times where I wasn't prepared with something waterproof and I ruined, in one case, a camera. Always take into account the type of conditions that you're going to fish with. Also, both Sims and Fish Pond have waterproof options in their lineup. You can check those out on our website, flyfishfood.com. The links will be down below in the description. Also, while you're poking around down there, give us a subscribe and a like to this video. Subscribe to our channel so you get notifications when we do these videos. It really helps us out. One final consideration, and this is one thing that I think the pack and bag manufacturers have done a really good job in the last few years and that is create modular systems that kind of play well with each other. If you look at Umqua with their ZS2 lineup and Sims with their flyweight packs and bags, they've both moved to more of a Molly style modular system. So if I wanted, for instance, to take this Umqua sling and pair it with a Sims flyweight pod, I could do that because of the Molly system. Super clever. So a lot of these two manufacturers, Sims and Umqua, their products will play nicely together because of that Molly system. So that it's very modular, super convenient, and all of their tippet holders, water bottle holders, floatant holders, they all use that Molly system. So all the Sims and Umqua stuff, not all of them, but most of them are gonna be modular like that with the Molly system. So that's an incredible thing. It's something to consider if you ever want to start with a smaller pack or bag and expand it later is to know that you can have some interchangeability there and have them work together to add more capacity or more features to your packs. Okay, Fish Pond has probably taken this whole modular idea to the next level. Here's what I'm talking about. All of their newer packs, these ones are new for 21, late 21, 22, they have these interchangeable clips that allow you to put for instance, this cross current chest pack onto the backpack. You would just separate with this little button the straps on the chest pack. So you've unstra undone four of them. And now, let's say you're going on a big long backpacking trip, but you still wanted to have your fishing gear. Well, first off, you can flip this backpack around and put it in what I call travel mode. So that would allow us to put the chest pack on the back of the backpack so while I'm traveling, hiking, walking, whatever, I can keep that out of the way and unencumbered. When I arrive to my destination, however, I can yank this chest pack piece right off and clip it into the backpack strap so that it is on my chest like so and it will attach down there. And so now I've got a high capacity backpack it's a really good backpack and a really functional fishing piece so usually you're kind of having to deal with a decent backpack uh, if you wanted the combo but in this case you can pick and choose so obviously it means you'd have to buy both of them but it's a great feature also if you wanted you could take 
For instance, the Thunderhead chest pack. It has the same fancy little clips. So if I didn't want the cross current, I could take the Thunderhead and swap that in there. Or if I wanted, I like the cross current backpack piece, but wasn't too keen on the really small one that came with the Thunderhead or the Canyon Creek. I could interchange the backs and the fronts to these guys too. So not all the packs do that. None of the sling bags do on fish pond, but the backpack and the chest packs do have that interoperability. Again, you'd have to buy all of them to have kind of take full advantage, but I think the most popular combo that we've seen is the backpack along with the cross current chest pack, and you can swap those in and out however much you want. So hopefully this has been helpful. Remember the three C's, capability, capacity, and conditions. Those things will help you pick the best pack or combo that is going to work best for where you are. Like this video, please subscribe to us. Visit our website at flyfishfood.com. We've got tons and tons of products. We also have tutorials if you like to tie flies and lots of other fun fishing videos. See you next video.